So it's a rainy day in autumn here in the UK and we've just discovered a fun thing with our van. If you look down here you'll be able to see a water trail. So let's follow this water trail up the van to see where it's coming from. There's a nice big puddle of water here. All right, so it's higher but up. that is coming from higher up all the way here. That tiny that hole. hole. And That's a hole. Yeah. And where's that coming from? Oof. That seal, that whole seal leaking. We know what our next task is now, huh? Right, so as you saw before, we're having a slight leaking problem and the culprit behind this is this all around our van. So this black trim is attached to the van via the clips that you see from the inside and as you saw those clips are not sealed and are leaking inside causing rust and filling up the cavity with water so eventually that is going to be a huge problem because well insulation is going in that cavity so you don't want your insulation to get wet and moldy and essentially wreak havoc behind closed walls. So today we're going to be showing you step by step how to remove these, clean them reseal the clips and put it back on hopefully with no mishaps so for this job it's relatively simple you only need a couple of tools the first one you'll need is a t20 torx head bolt so you can either have an allen key or you can have a screwdriver attachment you'll need a wire brush in case the bolt that you're trying to get to is caked and covered in mud you'll need a flathead screwdriver in order to pop this plastic panel off you'll need a microfiber towel to clean underneath here and then finally we're going to use some of this special neutral cure silicon. The reason we want to use neutral cure silicon is because most silicons release acetic acid when they cure and that can basically eat through the plastic, eat through the metal and it can cause havoc. And it's actually a good idea to use this silicon throughout your van build because who knows where you'll need silicon so you may as well buy some. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is actually take this off and in order to do that there is one securing bolt hidden on the other side of this. So let's go and show you where it is. We're underneath the wheel arch of the van. As you can see, this here is the entire black plastic bit that we're trying to remove. So this will come off, but there is one bolt which is right there. So since ours is caked in mud, we need to use this metal wire brush. You just want to clean around so you can get the bolt free. So we've cleaned it, so now we can actually fit our Allen key in there. And all we have to do is remove it like so. And that's it out. So now that we've removed that bolt, the next thing that we can do is pop this out. So you may be able to just tug it with your fingers. It is pretty flexible plastic. And you'll hear a little pop as the things inside pop out of their holes. Like that. You do have to put quite a bit of force behind it. Don't be worried about breaking it. Are you sure? Yep. I'm worried. Don't be worried. <laughs> and as you pop them out, move your way down. There you go. Now as you get to the light, as you'll see down there, when you pull this out, there'll be a light here that's attached by a very thin wire. You don't want to break this wire. All you have to do is turn it anti-clockwise and then the bulb will pop out. Obviously be careful with the bulb. And then just keep... There we go. Now as you can see, some of these plastic clips have stayed in the van. Some of them are popped right out and are actually resting on the plastic here. That's fine because we're going to remove all these clips anyway. But as you can see, this here is all that's stopping the water running down the metalwork and into your van. And look how loose that is. I could probably even pull that out with my finger if I tried. I'm not going to in case I break it. This is the panel that we've removed and there you go. Daylight. And then this is one of the clips that have stayed in the van as we took off the plastic panel and you can even see the daylight coming through it. So in order to remove these clips from the van, what you have to do is tuck this under and tuck this lip up and you'll see a little plastic clip under there that you have to get with your flathead screwdriver. So you'll just clip it there. So now this side's out. And there's one on the other side, completely opposite, that you have to get out without letting that one slip back into the hole. Which does prove to be quite the uh, conundrum for these clips. 
that's that side out. And there we go. And that's that clip out. These tiny little clips, this, there, there's no sealant here. There's no waterproofing. It's just that, that rubbing against the metal here. That's all that's protecting your van from getting water on the inside, which is completely ludicrous. And some older models of sprinters and crafters, these holes here may just be covered with a piece of like, I guess fabric or vinyl or a sticker, it seems. So this also might be a giant hole that you do have to fix and cut out a new piece of fabric and silicon it to it. Luckily in our van, which is a 2014 onwards, these holes are actually seemingly metal welded shut with this sort of bracket or bolt, but just bear that in mind. It's going to rain in about two hours, hopefully not sooner, though really the clouds are looking a bit threatening. But in those two hours we have to clean it underneath, clean the clips, seal it, and stick it on before it starts getting all rainy and wet again. Let's clean! I don't I need a toothbrush! <sighs> Cleaning is done, so now we need to start sealing them. We've got the sealant and we've got a plunger, so we need to just put them together and get going because it, you know, it's actually raining. All right, so now that we've got everything clean, we're going to put all the clips back in. So what you do, you get these this end that looks like this, not this end, but the bigger end. Make it like vertical, so you want it vertical like that, and then you're just going to pop it in, and you'll hear a little click, and that's it. We're going to put a little bead of silicon around each of these clips and then we're going to put it back on the back. And then you don't want to forget to reattach your bulb. You just find the holes it goes in, turn it 90 degrees. And then the best thing that I found to do, if you match up the bottom holes first, like so, so that the clips are nearly going in the bottom holes, and then you kind of push it like there, and then give it a hit, not too hard. You'll hear like lots of little clicks as all the clips go in. And that's all there is to it. And once you've got these on, the final thing that you need to remember to do, those bolts that we uh, must not lose, they need to go back from whence they came. Ow. Let's do the rest before it starts pouring it down. Go to our website for a new merch, join us on Patreon for exclusive discounts and content, and remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss a video.